This is my thank you video to each and every one of you for being on this YouTube journey with me. Believe it or not, we just hit 50,000 subscribers and I wanna thank all of you for commenting, for liking the videos, for watching, for sharing my videos with your friends. You know, my journey's been a little over 100 days now and I would have never guessed, I mean, this is really the improbable uh, YouTube channel for somebody you know, my age, I'm 59 years old. People have been saying, Asul, you've been saying you're gonna turn 59. When are you 59? Well, I'm 59 now. It's been a great journey, and I have a lot of exciting things that I wanna share with you, specifically a new challenge that I'm gonna launch at the beginning of the next month. But first, like I did when we hit 10,000 subs, I'm gonna go soak in this water over here Yes, it's summertime, so the water's not as cold as when I did it last time, which I think was April. Back then, the water was 58 degrees. I think it's up to all of 62 degrees right now. So it's warmer, but not that much warmer. So again, stay tuned to the end because you're gonna hear in hopefully what you think is an exciting announcement. And you're about to witness one of Asul's big weaknesses. So. God made me a lifelong learner. I love learning, but you know what? God did not give me hardy feet. I have tender feet and walking out into this water. It's low tide today. So I've got to walk through these rocks and walking through these rocks. It's a, it's a little embarrassing because uh, my feet are so tender, but let's see if I can find the easiest path out here. The other thing is recently some jellyfish have decided to come live in these waters. So if if you hear me scream, it's it's not a bumblebee stinging me, but it might be a jellyfish, I hope not. Yeah, I can tell you. Now I just finished a jog and, and my 30 day challenge is about fitness. So stay tuned to the end, but I just finished a jog. So this water feels particularly cold to me. Um, but again, I just wanna thank all of you for tuning in. Um, this is an unusual video. I only do this for major milestones. The next one will be at 100,000 subscribers. Who knows how long that's going to take. Um, my goal is to reach as many people as I can with the message of being thoughtful and deliberate. I mean, thoughtful and deliberate about whether you retire or not and when you retire, right? And, and to keep top of mind that unfortunately our health isn't going to last forever, right? So the, the three more, the three most, the four most dangerous words in, in financial planning and retirement planning in, in your life as you think about retiring is just one more year. It's just so easy uh, to get, to get um, kind of drawn into that and, and the temptation to just keep working. And then we never really get to celebrate and, and take advantage of all that hard work. Now, you know, the re the reality, and you've heard me say, if you're 60 years old, you likely have less than a thousand weeks of healthy, active time remaining. Now, there's definitely people that would say, hey, Asul, I don't like you saying that, but I'd rather share it with you, and then you can make the decision that's right for you. And, and retiring early is not what's right for, for everybody. But, you know, studies show us, unfortunately, anonymous studies show us that 80% of people do not love their job. Um, and if that's you, and if you're close to being able to retire, if you're able to retire, boy, you know, I'd, I'd hate for you to be somebody, unfortunately, like my uncle was, who passed away before he could retire, right? Or I think I've shared before, my father was younger than me when he had his first stroke and his first heart attack. And then, frankly, an important part of his job was just staying alive, right? And that's the reality for most of us. Okay. It's time for me to quit talking and to get into the water here. Oh, kind of takes your breath away at first. Okay, I'm back. So, you know, I don't want that to happen to you. You've worked too hard to not fully enjoy what I call burn. <laughs> the youth of your senior years, right? These are the times when we can be the most active and, and we're, we have our mental acuity. If you're married, hopefully your spouse is in good health. And you know, that can all be taken away from us in an instant. And so while you might stay healthy to 75, 80 or 90, 
And I, I hope it's a long, long time. But the reality is you might not, right? And if you don't, I'd hate for you to look back and say, I could have retired, but I didn't retire. And I wish I had, right? Because that clock, unfortunately, you can't turn back, right? When we're young uh, and our friends go on a backpacking trip to Europe and we didn't go, you know, that window's closed as well, but you can do the next best thing, right? You can go with some other buddies backpacking through Europe or staying in hostels in Southeast Asia or whatever your hobby is. You know, when I first graduated college, uh, my hobby was hang gliding. Uh, and in hindsight, I did some crazy dangerous things for, for very little upside, just for the challenge of it, right? Just for the excitement and the adventure of it. And I could have said, you know what? I can hang glide when I'm 60 years old. There are people that hang glide when, when they're 60 years old, but there's, there's a time where physically it makes sense. And then there's also a time where, you know, they say discretion is the better part of valor and, and who you are at 25, you know, that window passes and there's great things about being 25. And you know what? There's great things about being 59 and I'm not 65 yet. Uh, but I know there's great things about being 65 or whatever that age is. So there's these buckets of time that we have. And the, my goal with this channel, and thank you for making this possible. My goal with this channel is to get the message out and to have a forum for us to talk about it. And I have to say, we have the best community in all of YouTube. I, I, I love our community. I love how it's supportive. I love how we stick up for one another uh, and we share our experience. So if you've been active in the community, thank you for doing that. You've also seen that I'm starting to post uh, some questions. And the, the goal of that is to really find out how can I best serve uh, all of you in, in this area of taking full advantage of the youth of your senior years, right? That's really my niche here on YouTube. And so the thing I want to announce now is I recently did a poll and the the results were, you know, I asked people, what are you most fearful of in retirement? And, the, you know, and I'm not a big believer in fear, but it helps me, you know, understand how can I, how can we go through this journey together and how can I be the most helpful? And one of the things that I want to do on that, based on that poll result, the first fear was running out of money, which of course, you know, I do this professionally and I have that concern as well, right? I mean, I, I know I'm okay. I'm very, very fortunate. You know, uh, I've, I've been able, I'm a, I've always been a good saver. I've understood that it's not enough to save. You have to also invest. Um, so my finances are in good shape, um, but I'm still worried, right? There's no guarantees for anybody. Uh, so, but the number two concern was health. You know, just keeping our health and, and truth be told, um, you know, I've kind of, yeah, I, I still, I just mentioned, I just ran a, a 5K and I'm cooling off here in the water. It's supposed to be therapeutic to, to be in cold water. It's supposed to release uh, quite a bit of dopamine. So we'll, we'll see when I get out. That's been my experience in the past. But, you know, I've, I'm, a, I'm healthy, but I've let my, I've let my weight slide. Uh, I used to have body fat. It doesn't matter what my body fat was. I used to be very happy with what my weight was. And now, frankly, I'm 20 pounds higher than, than what I've been. And I think all of us have some kind of health issue that we'd like to, to work on. So at the beginning of next month, I'm going to launch a once a month poll. And I'm going to ask folks to just have a goal for yourself. Don't share it in the poll, but just have a goal for yourself for the next month. And then halfway through the month, I'm gonna ask, how are you doing on your goal? Are you at goal? Are you below goal? I'm not gonna ask for, you know, like for me, I'm trying, you know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna lose weight. My commitment is before we get to 100,000 subscribers, I will be at, at a weight that, that I want to be at, right? And I think uh, we've all seen that, you know, having a specific number isn't healthy. But anyway, so I'm going to launch these 30 day challenges starting at the beginning of next month. I hope you'll join me. It's not so much about the specific goal. It's about use. It's, it's, it's about you continuous, continuing to improve 
and to live your best life and whatever that goal is as a community let's support each other in hitting that goal so that's what i'm excited about going forward but you can look forward to more videos you know one of the things that i've really learned by doing these polls and thank you for those of you that have participated is you know having a benchmark as to how you're doing versus other people right it's it's not necessarily that you want to keep up with the joneses but you want to know hey uh, am i in the middle of the pack am i in the top quartile am i a little bit behind uh, so you can expect to see more of those videos and you can also expect to see more motivational videos about taking full advantage of the youth of your senior years. Thank you again for helping me get to 50,000 subscribers. I would not be here without each and every one of you, and I appreciate each and every one of you. And if you haven't watched this video up here that talks about average retiree income, or this video down here that talks about reasons to retire as soon as you can, they talk about those two concepts.